The next action in the Pro Skin retouching set is frequency separation. The action requires us to run Pro Masks and Retouch Assist tools prior to running this action. If you haven't run those, stop and run the actions and then return. But we've already run those actions, so we're going to hit continue. What makes this frequency separation so easy and foolproof is that we use the magic number. The magic number is the pixel height of your subject's face. We could see what that looks like by copying the tutorial link and pasting it in your browser. You grab your marquee, drag it down, and then you want to take the last two digits off that number. So let's go back in and hit stop. Click your marquee tool and just measure from the top of the forehead to the bottom of the chin and then take those last numbers off the height. We could see that it's 872, so eight is our magic number. Hit continue. Now enter your magic number in the radius field and leave the threshold at zero. What the action is doing is building frequency separation layers to work with. A low frequency for blending tones and a high frequency for healing details. Next, you're going to smooth out tones and transitions in the low frequency layer. Looking at the tutorial details, here's how we work with the low frequency layer. We're going to smooth out those tones and transitions. Now to see where you need smoothing, you can use your retouch assist tools because that makes it easier to see the inconsistencies. Let's go and set up those tools so that we can see where the splotchiness is. Remember, you're working on the low frequency for blurring colors layer. So don't actually select the assist layers. Just turn them on. Open the folder, choose contrast layers, and audition through these different layers. This is for shadow contrast between dark shadows and light shadows. This layer is for the midtones between dark midtones and light midtones. And this layer lets you see your highlights. So let's zoom in so we can get a better sense of what's going on. You see all the crud here? It's not smooth. We want to use this low frequency for blurring so that we could smooth out those inconsistencies. You're going to use the lasso tool to select the areas for blurring. You want to feather your lasso tool by the amount of your magic number. You see this rough transition? We want to blur that to make it smooth. So draw a shape around the area with the feathered lasso. Go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and once again, add your magic number. Now we're going to find all the areas where the transitions are rough, draw shapes around them with the lasso tool, and use the Gaussian blur on all of them using the magic number as the amount of blur. You wanna look for these rough transitions like here. You get this crunchiness and apply this technique. You don't have to keep going to the filter menu to apply the Gaussian blur. Instead, to make it faster, use the quick keys to repeat the last filter by hitting Control or Command F on a Mac or Alt Control F on a Windows machine. So I'm going to speed this up while I continue blurring shapes where the transitions look crunchy and need smoothing. Turn on your high frequency layer because when you have both high frequency and low frequency on, you're seeing the combination of the two, which is more of the complete picture. Remember, the low frequency layer is smoothing out the tones and the difference between shadows and highlights and the transitions. Whereas the high frequency layer focuses more on the detail, which we're going to edit next. So click the frequency separation button again, and we will continue with this action working in the high frequency layer. When you're working in the high frequency layer, to clean up the blemishes, you'll probably want to turn on your highlight contrast layer within the assist tools group. It will help you see the blemish details much better. Make sure you're editing 
in the high frequency for clone healing layer. Select the spot heal or the clone brush to clean up blemishes and stray hairs. And that looks really good. Now you can move on to the next action.